Hey, it's Corn Fu. 35 videos. I did 35 videos, one a week, for 35 weeks without stop. That was fun. It was a lot of work, but I did it. So because I stuck to my little goal, I want to do something special today. So I'm going to paint a painting, paint a painting. I'm going to paint something and I'm going to give it away. Uh, I'll have the rules at the end of this video, of like how, what that looks like. But regardless, subject matter, what's that going to be? I had no idea what to paint. So I was whining and crying, like, what do I do? Because sometimes you just run out of ideas. And my daughter Kylie came to the rescue by giving me a challenge. She's like, Dad, do something that's not corn foo. Wait, what? Not corn foo? Okay. So not corn foo would be <laughs> something I don't normally do. Something that's refined and not so sophomoric like I normally do. So I am going to pick some subject matter that I dig and I'm going to paint it in a style that I normally don't do. So we decided to go with impasto, impasta. Yeah, lumpy, <laughs> bumpy painting style. You can see brush strokes and things like that. It's really cool. And you see a lot of it in oil paints. I'm going to try to do it with acrylic and the subject matter I pulled from the archives of some photos that I took. I used to take a photo a day for a year back in 2013. I pulled one from that. It's a photo of a phone booth. It's super cool. A payphone, actually, not a booth. And it's all beat up. It has a lot of character. What I like about it, though, is it has a lot of details, buttons and text and stuff like that. So now I have to problem solve for that of how I'm going to paint in this style without getting overly detailed. Because I'm a detail guy. I'm an illustrator. So I want to put lines and little teeny details. Not this time. There's going to be some to help define it, but it's going to be different for me. So let's go jump in and do this. I'm excited to get rocking on this sucker. And like I said, at the end of it, we're going to give it away. We. Me. <laughs> let's go.
Hey, I'm back. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, new Sherman frame. The lighting in, in here is not <laughs> conducive to show this, but turned out better than I had hoped. And I kind of don't want to give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I'm going to give it away because this is my 35th video and I wanted to do 35 videos. And I think I'm going to keep doing more videos, but my goal initially was to do 35. Now that I did it, I thought I'd do something special. So the way we're going to do that is leave a comment. And after five days, I'm going to go through all the comments. I'm going to use an online uh, randomizer. I'm going to put one through, let's say it's 12, one through 12. Now let's think big. Let's say it's one through a hundred comments. Hit the randomizer. It's going to pick up a number. Whatever number picks up, it's that comment. That person is going to get this. And I'm going to mail it to you at my expense. Now, here's the catch. It's got to be in the U.S. because I'm cheap. Right now, it's just not wise for me to spend over $100 to mail a painting to somewhere outside of the U.S. Even though, honestly, I'd be super honored and flattered to send my artwork anywhere. So, but at this point in time, I'm cheap. So... We're going to keep it in the U.S. And whoever wins, I will let you know next week in the video. And then you can message me and I will get your address and I will mail you this. Um, and I think that should be cool. And just do me a favor. If you get it, leave another comment. Let me know how you like it. And if you really don't want the painting, please don't destroy it. Maybe you could give it to somebody else and then let me know who you gave it to. Or you can just say, hey, give it to somebody else. I won't have my feelings that hurt if you say that. So I'm excited to do this. Again, subscribe. And also, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a fun 35 videos. I hope to do 35 more. We'll see if I can keep up this momentum. I got a couple cool projects lined up from some friends, like kind of commission type stuff. And it's not things that I've normally done. So I'm excited to get going on some of this stuff. Again, thanks for watching. Police activity all the time. I love my neighborhood. Little wheel squillage there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> take two. Had to take a little break there. Apparently there was a high speed police chase through good old Peville. I heard tires squealing or whatever, but yeah, awesome. As long as bullets aren't flying this way, I'm okay. I forgot what I was saying.